Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back to yet another testing video. I know I've been knocking these out recently. I've got a lot of brands to test out and you guys seem to be liking these videos, so I've been doing a lot of them. Let me know if you want more. But today we are gonna be trying out Makeup Obsession or is it just called Obsession? I think it's just called Obsession Makeup London. This brand, it's basically one of Revolution's brands. So you obviously have Revolution, Revolution Pro, which was Freedom, I Heart Revolution, which was I Heart Makeup. And then you have obsession. So today I'm gonna to be going in blind just like I always do. I'm gonna be trying everything out, throwing it on my face and letting you guys know my first thoughts. So let's get into the video. This top and this headband, I literally look like I should be in like some kind of retro American TV show. So first of all, we have their baking primer. I don't really know, like what is a baking primer? Am I just, am I missing out on something here? But I think it's just like an oil primer and I love oil, so I'm down to use this. Baking primer oil hydrates and preps. Maybe it's baking because you can put it like in your sponge when you're baking your under eyes. I don't know. I don't know, do you guys know? Cause I don't know. That smells exactly like coconut oil actually. Hmm. Just gonna press that onto my skin. I love just using like skincare facial oils underneath my foundation so I can definitely get on board with something like this. So I'm just reading it and one of the main ingredients is olive oil so that's gonna be obviously nice and hydrating for your skin. There's also anus seed oil. Anus. I'm definitely not saying that right but I'm gonna call it anus seed oil because that makes me laugh. Yeah, obviously you can see it does make your skin look oily. It's an oil, what do you expect? But that's like, it's feeling pretty good to me. So then, like I said, Obsession don't have like an actual foundation yet. Maybe they're coming out with one, who knows? So I'm just gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution sticks. Thought I could use these because, I mean, it's affordable, it's the same kind of brand. So I'm just gonna go in with this one. Which one are you? F8. Oh my God, these are gliding on my skin so nicely. I've not actually used these with an oil before. Yeah, so far that's blending out really, really easy. Again, I'm assuming because of the oils, obviously it makes everything glide on a lot better. And you can see it's like, it's super dewy. So if you've got some foundations that maybe you like the color of, like the coverage of, but if they are too matte for you or something, try some kind of like facial oil or something underneath or a priming baking oil or anus oil if you have it lying around um, because it does just kind of slightly change the formula of the foundation and just make it a little bit more dewy. All right, looking good. Got a decent amount of coverage, looking very, very glowy. Some would say oily, but I'm kind of digging it. So then we're gonna move on to concealer. This is the Conceal in the shade Cool Medium. Um, they had, I, I wanna say like six different concealers. I feel like maybe a few of them were color correctors. Maybe I'm imagining that. It's got a little sponge applicator. Okay, that actually looks that actually looks darker than my foundation. Rookie mistake there, Steph, but that's fine. We can always make it work. Come on, give me coverage, bitch. Go like a little bit further down my face, just so it kind of blends in with the rest of my orange ass face. I'm having to twist it up quite a few times, but I mean, I like a lot of concealer, as I'm sure you all know. All right, let's try this. All right. It's not the most full coverage in the world, but I really, really like the formula. Ooh, just a quick heads up, as you can probably see, the concealer obviously from the sponge can potentially get in the lid, so it's not like, it's a little bit messy is what I'm trying to say, but the product is nice. So then, oh, I forgot I got these. So then I have the Obsession um, Liquid Illuminators in the shade Erotic, and I swatched these in store because I was trying to figure out what color to get. And they all look like they're kind of duochrome which if you like that, then cool. I personally don't like that as much, but this seems to have like, I don't know if I can show you guys, but it seems to have like almost like a pink, like quite like a bright pink reflect to it, which I'm a bit like, how's that gonna look on my face? But we'll see what it looks like. That on my cheeks. So let's just blend all of that out got quite a bit of glitter in it. Like I can see if I kind of like move my head around. I can see it does have like more glitter in than the Revolution ones, for example. But it actually, it actually does look pretty nice on the skin. Like I was expecting it to be like super duochromatic and I was gonna be like, oh God, what have I done? But no, that actually just looks 
Like you don't notice like the pink tones or anything in there, so that works. Uh, personal preference, but I do prefer the Revolution ones. I feel like they're more of like uh, a solid color almost, if you know what I mean. Like if I'm wearing a highlighter, generally I want it to be like a champagne color for me personally. So I would prefer the Revolution ones. So the verdict is, these are nice. Not my favorite, but they are still really, really nice. And again, like I said, probably a similar formula to Revolution. If it's got the color you want, then they're good, easy to blend out, a little bit glittery, but that doesn't really bother me. Yeah, like that. So then we'll move on to their baking powder, which I believe is just a translucent powder, although this one is in the shade transparent, apparently. I think they had two other colors, maybe. I think they maybe had like a banana one and like a peachy color. But I thought I would just play it safe. Oh God, my arch nemesis, the little pulley tabs. Or is it? Oh no, it's not. No, you just, Ooh, okay. Mm. You just have to lift this lid out, which whatever, no worries, but that, that can get very messy for me personally because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wreck. Um, and like, let's see how much powder comes out of here. Yeah, like a lot kind of, oh, yep. Yeah, didn't quite want that much, but I guess we're taking it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Zoeva face definer brush. It's just like a kind of domed, fluffy brush, I guess. Or am I? Because this is supposed to be a baking powder, so I should probably bake with it. Let me just take some of that on my sponge. Okay, so far so good. Super, super mattifying. Okay, noted. Um, also just gonna go a little bit in my forehead and it does feel quite dry. And now that I've put the powder over the top of the illuminator, it looks more like glittery and pinky. Ooh, what are you doing to me here? Oh, I preferred it without the powder. Hmm, okay. And then take a big fluffy brush and I'm nervous about this because I was liking how this base looked and now I'm like, ooh, this could ruin it. I'm gonna go quite lightly because I don't want it to be too matte because that scares me. It's messed with the illuminator. And now it's like, it now looks kind of purpley. So the powders made the center of my forehead look quite cakey as well. It's kind of like made it look a little bit patchy right in the center, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, don't, mm, mm, no, no. Uh, the powder's a weird one because it's working sometimes. And then like here and here and on my chin, it just looks like super like cakey. I was just about to say that under my eyes, it looks okay. But here actually, it's like picked up some weird textures. It's almost like taken off some of the concealer in some places and like made other parts of the concealer look super opaque almost. So now I just look a bit blotchy. Yeah, not sure, not sure I like this. And I mean, I've used that foundation many times with like loads of different powders and I like it. This I'm like, no, no. So next is a product that I am very excited about, which is the Obsession Brow Pomade. Now, if you guys don't know, I used to love the Freedom Brow Pomade, but obviously RIP Freedom and the one I currently have is like completely dried up. So I picked this up in medium brown, which is the same shade that I used for the Freedom one. So I think, I'm obviously gonna put all like, the prices on screen as I normally do, but I think this was like six or seven pounds or something. So yeah, this is what the Obsession Brow Pomade looks like. Does look pretty much identical to the Freedom one, so I'm excited about this. I'm gonna go ahead and take a Zoeva wing liner brush. Oh my God, I'm so, oh yes. This is how I remember it, like actually creamy, not like really friggin' dry. Oh yes. It's been a while, old friend, but we are back. Why does one brow always look so much better than the other one? All right, cool. So then we're gonna move on to the, you got this, um, it's like a face palette. Looks like this. I am buzzing for this. So first of all, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here and try doing a little bit of contouring with that. So this is the shade Goals. Oh shit. Okay, dusting my brush off on my pajama bottoms because that is incredibly, incredibly pigmented. Should have checked that before. Taking a little bit to blend out, but then I did obviously just do like a massive stripe right down my face. Not really blended out into much. Do you guys know what I mean? Let's try adding a bit more. 
Yeah, that was weird. Like the first time I applied it, I applied a lot and it just like didn't really blend out into anything. Maybe I'll try a little bit of the shade Spirit, which is the other one. Actually, I'm gonna try that to contour with because it is a little bit darker. So maybe we need to use this guy. But I was thinking that guy looked more like a bronzer than anything else. Looks a little bit muddy. Like here, it's not looking perfect, but it's okay. I'm actually gonna go in with a bigger brush, my um, F42, and see if we can do something with this. Cause I feel like it's not really showing up as much as I want it to. Like it's super pigmented, but then it doesn't really blend out as much. Okay, fluffier brush seems to be working better. It's okay, the bronze is okay, but I have definitely tried other bronzers from Revolution that I prefer. So the next, we're gonna move on to the highlighters. I don't know which one to choose. I also have two ones on the floor. Two of their kind of like build your own highlighters. So these just come as singles and then you can obviously put them in like magnetic palettes. So one of these is a highlighter in the shade Ice. One of you guys recommended that to me. But then I also saw this. Um, if I can even open it. Literally, I say that so many times in my video, if I can even open it. Steph, just open up the products before you actually start filming the video. So this one is actually an eyeshadow and it's in the shade Primrose. And I swatched this and I thought this could be a stunning highlighter as well. Like, look at that shit. I think I'm gonna try a bunch. I know you're all surprised, but I think I'm gonna try a ton of them. The first one I'm gonna go in with the shade Ambition, which is this shade here. This seemed like one of the more subtle ones. Oh, no, that's not subtle. That's actually friggin' stunning. That ain't subtle at all. I'm very sorry for doubting you. Oh my God, that's super icy, like what the hell? Um, What would Ace look like? I feel like Ace could be really nice. It's It's quite peachy. It might be too dark but it might also be fab. Um, let's try that up here. Oh yeah, that's that's way too pink on me. Okay, pass on that one. I'm gonna try a little bit of free, which is like this super, super icy one. Holy shit, that's literally like white. If you are fair, this could be a good shade for you. So we're then gonna try the eyeshadow, which I feel like, I feel like this could be maybe a winner. Very little fallout, pretty much nothing actually. Oh. And the pans come out like this. I thought they were gonna come out as like little circles, but they come out like little squares. Yeah, buddy. Shit me, that is intense. Crack open this bad boy. So this is the other highlighter in the shade Ice, which I'm expecting to be very, very icy. Oh my God, my nose is so itchy all of a sudden. Let's put that one just here. Yeah, good Lord. There we go. It looks cute on the nose. I'm then just gonna take some more of the um, Ambition highlighter, this one here, just so we're like nice and even, cause obviously we have thrown like seven different highlighters on my face. And then just to kind of like bring it back a little bit, I'm gonna go more in with a little bit of bronzer just to kind of like bring it slightly up my face. Cause right now we are looking like we've got just a stripe of highlighter here. All right, highlighter done. Stupidly blinding if that's your thing. I dig it. So then we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow palette, which I am really freaking excited to use actually. So this is the cool down eyeshadow palette. I also, I also have two other palettes. So I have the love shade, which is kind of like, oh, love every shade palette, which is just like a bunch of neutrals. And then I have this guy, the warm up palette, which has a lot of warm tones, which looks stunning, but I've been doing a lot of warm tones recently. Sorry about it. So I thought, Let's do some purple. So you've got one, two, three mattes and five shimmers. Yeah, five shimmers. Um, think I'm just gonna mess around with the mattes in the crease. Chuck this like right all over my lid. Little bit of this on the inner corner. This one is in the shade Crisp. Actually, that looks like a pretty banging highlight as well. Okay, no, that's too glittery. I'm having like word vomit right now. Um, but yeah, just kind of like mess around with a bunch of those shades and See what happens. So first of all, because there isn't like a lid setting shade in that palette, I am just gonna take some of that powder again and just go all over my lid. I'm then gonna go in with a fluffy brush. This is the 228 Lux Crease from Zoeva. I'm gonna go in with the shade Cool. And just run that ever so lightly through my crease, just like slightly above my crease. All right, so far so good. Easy to blend. 
So I'm just kind of focusing that on my crease, but instead of like going along my lid like I normally would to create more of like an almond eye, I'm kind of going down a little bit earlier. So you can see that when you put your head back, you have created like a little bit of a semicircle. By the way guys, let me know if you want like more eyeshadow tutorials, because I know in these testing videos, I do fairly like similar looks purely because I'm doing it to try out the product, not to kind of create a new funky look or anything. Um, but let me know if you want more eye tutorials because I can do that. I can definitely do that. All right, so again, I'm gonna be leaning my head back quite a bit so you guys can see. Just looks like that, like a little, like half a McDonald's M, you know? So then, taking a risk here. We are gonna go in with the, can't find it, concealer. And I'm gonna, Pop some of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm actually gonna grab this really, really random Primark brush, but I really like it. It's really good for a cut crease. I'm gonna breathe and we're just gonna try and do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pat that all over my lid, tilting my hair back. I might go against what I'm doing right now because normally I would just kind of like stop it here. I'm not sure if it suits my eyes actually, but we'll give it a go. I think we're about there. I think I might deepen up that outer corner again in a second. But what I tried the other day when I did, I think my Primark video, is I didn't actually powder down my lid. Sorry I'm not looking at you guys, by the way. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna crease my eyeshadow. Um, but I didn't actually set my base the other day on my lid and it worked like a dream. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm now gonna go in with the shade Shiver, which looks, so friggin' nice, like look at that. I never wear colors like this ever, let alone all over my lids. Oh yes, whoa, that is definitely a color I don't use. You know what, I'm actually gonna go in and take Roots, which is this shade here. Pick up some of that and pop that on the outer corner. Now I'm gonna take the shade Crisp and just like, really kind of intensify that inner corner like that. I'm then gonna take this fluffy brush and I'm gonna go under my eyes with Cool, which is our transition shade. Ooh, I'm actually way more in love with that than I thought it would be. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and check on some mascara. Again, Obsession, don't do their own mascara that I could see. So I'm just applying the Model Zone Grand Master Lash Mascara, which I freaking love. I'm now gonna go ahead, do the other eye, add some falsies, and then we'll finish up with the lips. All right, so eyes are done, and I'm actually really kind of digging this eye makeup look. Wish I had more time to make it a whole lot better, but let me know if you guys do want like another purple cut crease makeup look or something, because I can definitely do that. But as far as the palette goes, I actually love the color combinations here, so I think they did really, really well with that. Next, we'll move on to my lips. So for that, I have the Matte Naked Lip Kit Lip Liner and Liquid Lipstick, and the one I have is in the shade Bunny Girl, which is obviously a nude. So this comes with a lip liner and then you also have a liquid lipstick. I think the lip liner is darker than the liquid lipstick, maybe? Yes. That's my kind of thing. So I'm happy about that. This could be a look, you guys. This could actually be a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. Again, these do look pretty much identical to um, the Revolution liners. They've even got like the little sticker that like all the Revolution liners come with. Like this looks very, very similar to Ecolon, I think it is. So you like a little bit of an ombre lip. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, like, like that. I'm then gonna go in with the liquid lipstick, which again looks very, very similar to a Revolution lipstick. Same kind of doe foot as well. Ooh, it's like a peachy color. Yeah, you can see the colors are pretty different in terms of like the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. But that doesn't bother me, I actually quite like it. Seems fairly opaque considering it is quite a light shade as well. Okay, I think that's dried down. It's got a little bit of tack to it again, like the Revolution ones. I'm literally saying that pretty much for like every single product, but yeah, I'm pretty sure the product is like the same, just different colors. So if you like Revolution liquid lipsticks, you will like this. Um, I'm actually really, really happy with how this look turned out. And I didn't think I would be. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look and I'm actually, Freaking obsessed with how this turned out. I feel like now I need to like experiment way more with purple eyeshadows. I didn't think I liked purple, but I am digging this color. So yeah, love that palette. I pretty much liked everything. Um, there were a few things I was a bit like, eh, about like 
the highlighter, for example, if you like a more kind of like glittery duochrome kind of effect, you might like that. It's just not my vibe. And also the powder, the baking powder, I was a bit like, uh, no, to put it bluntly, just wasn't really a fan of that. Um, but everything else, was pretty good. As always, let me know what you think of this makeup look. Let me know if you want more purple eye makeup looks. Let me know if you want more cut creases. I can definitely do all of the above. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't see more of me because I upload all the damn time, as I'm sure you guys know by now. But apart from now, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.